What are sacred sites? Why do we flock to them? Are they really more sacred than our own backyard? Thousands of sites in every country on the planet are places of awe, of worship, and of prayer. Places we humanoids call sacred. Usually, they are places of enormous beauty, serenity, and renewal. For thousands of years, people have gathered and built shrines in and around these places. Places of natural beauty where great legends and myths involving spirit and spiritual matters manifest. In the tradition of circular time, it is said that life forces generate, regenerate, and concentrate in these particular places. Past, present, and future collide, amplifying perspective of oneself. A more coherent and concentrated view emerges, connecting and reconnecting each one of us to each other and to the all. Recently, I visited a place like this, Niagara Falls, a place of beauty and awe, sacred to Native Americans for thousands of years and sacred to all who visit and experience her magnificent power. The thing that struck me most was the sheer power of the rushing water. For 12,500 years, water has roared over the gorge. Originally over 5 billion gallons per hour or 35 million gallons per minute, now half its volume is diverted to turbines. However, enough water falls each day for every man, woman, and child on the planet to drink for their entire lifetime. The water falls without stopping, without pause, without any hesitation, flowing, rushing, splashing, and filling the sky with mist and rainbows, filling the heart with solace and the mind with renewal. A kind of peace pervades a knowing that long before you stood here to witness her magnificence and long after your presence has passed, she will flow and you will flow with her somehow. You have now become part of her sacred storm. It is amazing and awe-inspiring. And as I stood witness, I wondered, did I have to travel two days journey to experience the power of the goddess? Is she only in these sacred places or is she everywhere? Is this sacred place really more sacred than my own backyard? The place where butterflies flock to my garden. The place where all the beloved critters who have shared time with me and my family make their rest and transition. This place that I love and loves me back where I witness the seasons and the years and enjoy the daily cycle of life, death, and renewal. Each spring, the daffodils emerge and shout with their big yellow trumpets, the return of the growing sunshine. Each autumn, the beautiful maple turns yellow and drops her leaves, blanketing the flower bed below with a warm winter cover. Each season holds its own color and power. The sweet smell of the living soil, full of fat earthworms. The multitude of winged creatures, all with beautiful, unique songs. Ordinary, perhaps to some but to me extraordinary, sacred, warm and welcoming, full of love, life and renewal. Any place where the goddess resides has power, each moment new, alive and beautiful, each place magnificent and sacred, if one just takes a moment to notice. The goddess is love, and that love is not reserved for the lucky few who can travel great distance or afford the great expense. Her natural wonder is all around us, all the time. What makes a place sacred is you, and how you choose to experience and flow with the place. I guess the answer to my own question, what are they? They're places of possibility, where the line between what you believe to be, and what can be, and what is, blurs a little just enough for new possibilities to come into focus and renew the magic in your heart and remind you of the power of love and light and the promise of and connection with everything. Goddess is everywhere for you. Her magnificence is. All you have to do is be witness, be aware, and share 
her immense beauty, serenity, renewal, and love. <laughs>